What's up guys, this is Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're going to be talking about how quarterbacks can throw a perfect spiral every time. Now listen, everybody knows the technique behind the spiral. You want to let the ball go off your index finger, you want to have a gap between your palm and the ball, you want to make sure that you extend to the target and flick your wrist, everybody knows that. But what are some drills that you can do if you have some bad habits when throwing a spiral? That's what we're going to be discussing today. So I hope this helps you guys out, but also if you're a quarterback and you would like to train with myself and my staff of coaches this offseason, we're coming out to 15 different cities across the U.S. for two day long QB and wide receiver camps. So check out that very first link in the description below, fellas. We'd love to have you out to one of our camps. We appreciate all the support and we'd love to meet you guys. So we're coming out to San Francisco, Miami, Las Vegas. Then we'll be heading out to Charlotte, North Carolina, Portland, Oregon. Then we'll be coming out to Dallas, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Chicago, Illinois, Buffalo, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Detroit, Michigan. Then we'll be heading out to Boise, Idaho, and Los Angeles, California. So Again, fellas, we'd love to train with you. Check out that very first link in the description below. Let's get to these drills. All right, guys, for this first drill, all you need is a towel. So you could use a simple dish towel. You could use a towel that, like, you know, like a quarterback might put in his, like, his, like, belt to wipe off his hands, whatever the case may be. I recommend using something a little bit bigger and something thinner. So maybe on more like a longer dish towel side of things. But honestly, any towel will work. So how you want to hold the towel when you go through these throws? Because I'm sure you've probably seen quarterbacks or myself do some throws with the towel. What does that exactly work on? And that works on that extent extension point to help you with a spiral, which is why we are doing this. So how you want to hold the towel, grab like the bottom fourth of the towel, put your middle finger over the top of the towel, kind of like I'm flipping off the camera in a way, the middle finger over the top of the towel, gripping it like so. You do not want to grip it like this because that is not going to get you any type of extension. We want to put this middle finger over the top of the towel. So mistake that a lot of quarterbacks make when it comes to throwing a spiral is they will let go of the ball and they will short arm it where they will not extend. Your finish point is when you extend and flick your wrist at the target. Now, a lot of guys can't get to that extension point because they'll dip their head out of the throw, they'll drop their front elbow, and their release point gets outside of their body frame. So they end up coming across, and that's why they can't extend. So this drill helps us focus a lot on keeping a disciplined head in front side. You guys, when you throw, you want your hand to be up by your face like you're eating a sandwich. Head stays steady, arm stays steady, and we extend. Now, Reason why we do this on the towel is because if you don't extend properly, you're not gonna hear the towel. But if you do extend properly, you're gonna hear a whip of the towel, and that means we're doing it correctly to build that good habit of extension. Not only for a spiral, but this also helps with accuracy. So what you're gonna do, I call this a no stride drill. So you're gonna stand, good base, back foot's under your frame, front foot's gonna be loaded like you're throwing to a target. We are literally, when we throw on this, just rotating in my hips. I want you to think somebody's got their hand on the back of your front hip, and they're pulling you open. Not taking a step, not worrying about my lower body. Just pivoting off my back foot, letting my front hip open. When we throw, you are going to bring your right shoulder to your front hand to work on that stable front side. So you're going to rotate and go here. Now, again, that might feel weird for some of you. I don't necessarily need you to throw like this all the time. But for this drill to get that extension and not that whip across, we need to do this. So you're going to be here, weights back. We're going to separate the hands. <laughs> and just go through and work on that extension point in the disciplined front side. Watch a guy like Tom Brady throw in his later career, not his early career, his later career. When he threw, he'd be like this. Watch Drew Brees, he'd be like this. Watch Aaron Rodgers. Front side is completely stable and it is just a flick of the wrist at that point. So I'm gonna show you how this drill is gonna look, full speed. <sighs> Now, some of you guys may have heard the um, like coaching point that like the reason why you don't throw a spiral is you have like a flimsy wrist or you did not keep your wrist steady, like your wrist broke, right? So that's a common mistake that a lot of guys make when trying to throw the ball deep. Maybe they dip their elbow, whatever it is. But like when you guys go to throw, we want to control this wrist position, right? Like I go back with the ball. I want to be at like somewhat of an L. It could be a little bit lower. It could be a little bit higher, but I don't want my wrist to move, right? So if your elbow's here and your wrist is here, my wrist should not move. I should control this thing throughout the entire throw and be able to finish on this thing. So a lot of guys will go back here, wrist breaks, elbow dips, ball comes off their hand, real flimsy, nose spins up. So this is a great drill to help you guys work on keeping a stable wrist. So something like wrist position, very, very tough. Like guys, like I know this better than anybody because I played the position. It's impossible to think about a million things at once as a quarterback. In a game, it's pretty much impossible to think about anything but the defense and your reads, the play that you're running. You can't think about your mechanics in a game. In practice, it's tough to think about your drop back, you stepping up in the pocket, you doing certain things, 
and then worry about your wrist as well. So this is a drill that isolates this exact movement. So it's another no stride drill. So all you're gonna be doing is you're going to face your partner and I'm gonna show you how this will look full speed. Same thing, front stride here, but instead of starting with two hands on the ball, you're gonna start here already loaded, stable wrist. All we're focusing on is my wrist. We're not worried about my stride, not worried about my base because I already have it. So if wrist is stable, facing forward, we're gonna have my hips rotate me through and you're not gonna let your wrist break. And then you just follow through on the throw, play and catch with somebody. Simple drill, but we have to work on controlling my wrist position. One thing I gotta add, because I'd be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't say this. A lot of times, the guys with a flimsy wrist is because they have a weak rotator cuff. So if you have a weak rotator cuff, watch what happens. You go back with the ball, your rotator cuff can't support you keeping a stable wrist. So a lot of people use that wrist excuse when really they're not digesting or diagnosing the root of the problem, which is a weak rotator cuff. So if you go back with the ball, but when you start to rotate through, your rotator cuff can't support it, your elbow is going to dip, your wrist is going to break, and we're going to push the ball every single time. So if you guys look up, search up, you can search up two things. Number one, baseball rotator cuff warm-up or rotator cuff exercises, or you search up first down training, quarterback warm-up routine, and you'll probably see me doing different flex T exercises. All that is to strengthen that rotator cuff so it can support the motion, okay? So I'm gonna show you how this drill is gonna look, full speed. All right, guys, so this next drill that we're gonna be talking about, you need a football, and again, it's something that's going to isolate your throwing motion and strictly just your upper half. So I call this a counter-rotation throw. So you're not worried about stride, you're not worried about your front side, you're just worried about like counter-rotating against your body and your wrist position and your follow-through, aka the wrist split, right? So what you're gonna do, let's say the camera, what I'm talking to right now is the partner. So if you're a right-handed quarterback, normally if we were playing catch, I'd have my left hip facing you and I would step and throw, obviously, right? So this drill, it's gonna be the reverse. So you would put your throwing side hip at the target like so. Feet should be inside your shoulder frame. So you could rotate more. If your feet are wide, you're not gonna be able to rotate as much. So your feet are inside your shoulder frame. All you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate and try, and you could pivot this back toe a little bit, not a lot to where you're turning like this, but a little bit of a pivot. And you're going to separate your hands here with separate from your hips. And we're going to focus on that wrist position, my elbow staying up. This is good for your rotator cuff as well, and extending and following through. So it isolates the upper body. To work on your spiral, guys, there's a, there's a lot of drills that I guess you can do. The towel stuff is great, but you got to throw a football. You can't build a good spiral without throwing a football. But you cannot worry about the spin, the spiral. Like if I'm training a quarterback, and let's say he's like, you know, he's played the position for a while. And he's got a lot of mechanical problems, like a long stride. He's not using his hips. The timing of his shoulders are off with his hips. I, and he's not throwing the best spin. My goal is to correct the other stuff and not tell him, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Hey, and also, you got to keep your wrist steady. It's like you can't think about all that stuff. And if you're a quarterback coach watching this, you shouldn't be that guy. That's like called overcoaching. Like, let's take it piece by piece. There are more important things, I would say, than a spiral. But to work on your spiral, because you do need to work on your spiral, because unfortunately at this position, the ball has to look a certain way coming off your hand. you got to isolate it. So this is another great drill, just like the last one, to isolate that movement. <laughs> All right, guys, really want to thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, I hope this helped you guys out. We appreciate all the support. We appreciate you guys tuning in every single week, pretty much every single day. So um, we really appreciate it, you guys. And again, if you'd like to train with us, 15 different cities this year. We'd love to have you out to one of our off-season camps coming all the way from Miami to San Francisco, Las Vegas, all over the place, you guys. So check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.